Joy FM is celebrating 20 years on the air, and so we thought it would be fun to talk to some of our favorite friends, 20 of our favorite friends, um, that you've been hearing their music on Joy FM over the, the years. And today we have the privilege of hanging out with Jason Gray. Hey everybody, I, I just am so happy that I made the list. Wow. <laughs> I'm so grateful for that. Did you, you Except may not. Except you guys never write, you never <laughs> call. I don't know. I'm just kidding. You know, you're actually in a three-way tie with okay. Unspoken and Josh Wilson for those who played the Sofa series uh, the most. The Sofa series <clears throat> has been one of my favorite things that I've ever gotten to play. Like, uh, because your audience is great, you guys are great, and it's, it's so, it's just a great, it has a great spirit to it, and... And you guys know what you're doing, and it's, it's just awesome. Well, we love, love having it, you there, so. that's for sure. It's always a really special and um, tender night. You yeah. know, people walk away just with their heart being tenderized. They come pretty open, too, is my experience. Mm -hmm. Like, your audience comes, and they are ready to receive. And yeah. it's, it's a gift to a guy like me, for that's sure. That's awesome. So. All right, let's talk about your table. My table. I saw a picture on Instagram. Oh, right. <laughs> at the yeah. bottom of it, you have a really kind of cool tradition yeah. with your table. Yep. Uh, so so uh, if you if you come over to my house, which you guys are all invited. <laughs> Thank come, you. <laughs> uh, at the end of the night, I'll tip the table over and ask you to sign your name on it. If I remember, I forget a lot of the time because <laughs> so, so often we're having like a great conversation and yeah. it's time to go home and then... As they're driving away, I'm like, oh, shoot, I forgot to have them on the table. So, <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I love doing that. That's so, really cool. Yeah. I love that. So, you know, we're celebrating 20 years yeah. of ministry. Um, think back to 20-year-old Jason Gray. All right. And who are you? Uh -huh. Who am I? Uh, you know, it's interesting. I think about this a lot. I, I, um, I'm, uh, I'm oblivious to a lot of my limitations and mm. imperfections and isn't that great because isn't that what what we need starting out of the gate right mm -hmm. you know like I remember um, you know I, I just I really believed in my songs and and you know it was really like I'm gonna and and I thought my songs were better than a lot of other artists songs who out here but they weren't they were mm. they were kind of terrible you know what I mean they were <laughs> they were they were not very good at all but thank God I didn't know that, right? Mm. Because because I, I believed in it enough and and and, and uh, um, to put me on the path that I am now. You know, I, I was I was thinking about it too. Um, and 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 for those of you who don't know me, I do have a speech handicap called s s stuttering. This isn't happening because Kim's making me nervous or anything <laughs> like that. So. Um, <laughs> But I remember uh, I had a friend um, who uh, we were into the same kind of artist, like like uh, great uh, songwriters, um, and we were into this guy named Pierce Pettis, who's mm -hmm. a great songwriter. And uh, so I made my first record, and I couldn't wait to share it with her because I knew she was going to be impressed by it and on my team and a supporter you know and got done with the record and I gave it to her and I asked her what do you think you know and uh, she's like well, I guess I just wish the songs were better <laughs> and uh, wow. and that stung and I resented her for it and I avoided her for a long time you know um, but that was a real gift she gave me you know mm -hmm. because uh, if I'm known for anything in my industry, it's it's uh, it's for being a, a, a thoughtful songwriter, mm -hmm. you know, and that's because the sting of her criticism, which is true now, mm -hmm. I recognize all these years later, <laughs> uh, forced me to dig in and write better songs because I never wanted to feel that again, you know. Yeah. Um, so that was a real gift to me as a young man. Uh, but but I also think it was. It's necessary that we're oblivious to our limitations and mm. mediocrity uh, at that time in our lives, right? Yeah. So <laughs> we need true. this blind ambition and belief in ourselves 
to help get us out the door, mm-hmm. you know. So I think the Lord uses that. He does. And, you know, you and I have talked so much about counseling over the years yeah. and the benefit of it. And, you know, um, you've experienced a lot of, you know. Counseling, yes. <laughs> it's true. You've been just so open about walking <laughs> through loss and hard things with yeah. your kids and um, hmm. just hurt and pain. And yeah. so I know that's really been meaningful to me in my years. I'm, you know, I'm, I'm also a fan of yours too. I love oh. your music. And so, um, mm-hmm. you've helped so many people through, mm-hmm. um, dealing with those things like navigating through grief and through hard things. And what would you say to somebody mm-hmm. right now who is just kind of in the middle of it and feels a little stuck? Yeah. And especially given the last year that we've had, you know, it's, we've all been stuck a bit, yeah. you know, and it's hard to move through that. I don't, uh, I don't think it's helpful to be, to be anxious about your sadness and, uh, to be hard on yourself about it. I think it's helpful mm-hmm. to be, to just recognize this is where I'm at. This is who I am today. This yeah. is what I'm feeling, you know, and, 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 uh, you know, uh, being anxious about that means we don't really accept it. And my experience is I can't really work on things until I accept it and yeah. uh, have grace for myself or accept the grace that is 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 offered to me, you know. Um, so those things. And then, you know, I think, too, about uh, about not holding hands with certain feelings that come, you know, like, uh, with, with depression, um, uh, when I'd feel those things, I would hold hands with it and it would lead me where Mm -hmm. it wanted to go, which was oftentimes the very dark and scary places, you know, and I just think with age, I realized, well, if you don't hold hands with it, it'll move along and there'll be a new feeling that comes along after it, you know? And so, uh, oh, I feel it, there it is. I'm not gonna hold hands with it, mm-hmm. and I'm not gonna make any decisions in this state, you know, in this emotion, and uh, because I know if I just wait, it'll move along, and there'll be a new emotion, and I can make clear decisions from there, you know? So, things like that have been helpful, you know? Mm-hmm. So. What a great visual. <laughs> you know that, yeah. it's, it is, we, we start holding hands with things that we don't even realize until mm-hmm. you're like, whoa, why is my hand numb? Totally. Yeah, <laughs> you know? right. I know. And where is it leading me? Yeah. You know? and, yeah. So how did I get here? Oh, it's because I was holding hands with this mm-hmm. feeling, this um, reality, you know? Yeah, so. that's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> so, you know, we are called Joy FM. Yes. And I would love to know what's something that brings you joy or one of your favorite things in life yeah. right now? Well, getting to talk with you right now is bringing me joy. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> um, and, uh, you know, I think about, um, I think those places in our lives where we lose track of time, where we lose ourselves, where we're in the zone, you know, mm-hmm. maybe that is gardening or working out or working on a car or listening to music or preparing a meal, whatever that thing is that when you're doing it, you forget yourself. Mm. I think that's holy ground, right? Because yeah. I think we're, we, uh, we tend to be so um, cripplingly self-conscious, mm. as, at least I know I am, that when I, I find those spaces in my life where I forget myself. Um, there's joy in that, you know. Uh, f- a big place for me is uh, is on the stage, you know. Uh, a lot of people ask me, how do you keep from having a big head when you're on the stage? And, and it's like, it's, it's weird, but it's almost the opposite of that. Mm-hmm. When I'm on the stage, I'm, I feel so tuned into the Holy Spirit and so so attentive to what the Holy Spirit's doing that I finally, thank God, forget myself mm. for about an hour, you mm-hmm. know? Um, and there's a real joy in that. Um, also, I've been r- really uh, enjoying 
uh, having people over to my house to eat and to just hang around, on, you know, uh, a, 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 a fire pit on my back deck. Mm -hmm. Hopefully get them to sign my table before they leave, you know. <laughs> I, uh, I'd been on the road for so many years and I have a lot of acquaintances, mm -hmm. but just the schedule of, 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 of the way all that works has made it challenging to develop deep friendships. And when I am home, I'm kind of an introvert, so mm -hmm. I kind of don't want to hang out with people. But, and this is kind of morbid, I don't mean to go here, <laughs> but I thought, uh, man, if I died right now, I wonder who my pallbearers would be. And mm -hmm. that wasn't clear to me, and I thought, I need to go out and find me some Paul Bears, you know. <laughs> and so my uh, my program uh, for that was was uh, having people over once a week mm -hmm. and just making a meal and hanging out, laughing on my back That's deck. Great. So there's a lot of joy in that. That's awesome. So <laughs> a project Paul Bears. Yeah. <laughs> it's a little dark. Sorry. <laughs> so 20 year old Jason Gray. <laughs> yeah. um, what? one of your songs would you sing to him yeah that would be meaningful to him um well uh you know i think it'd be the song that i'm most proud of in my whole catalog of songs and uh maybe one of the reasons why i'm proud of it is is because it is the song i would sing to all the previous versions of myself you know mm. Um, uh, I'm trying to love the previous versions of myself, you know, uh, even the ones that were, you know, an idiot at times or would make bad decisions, you know, but, but like looking back on it, you know, it's like, yeah, but he was doing the best that he knew how to do mm -hmm. with what he knew at the time, you know, yeah. and, uh, and that counts, that counts. And uh, beating that younger me up just isn't helpful, you know. Um, so, but, you know, uh, having a speech handicap, uh, as I began to be aware of, of, of God's calling on my life, around when I was like 18, 19 years old, you know, I, I wondered, well, how's this going to work, you know. Mm -hmm. And in my mind, I thought, oh, of course, I see how it's going to work. Um, God has called me to be his spokesperson. I don't speak right. I know what he's going to do. When I step out in faith, he's going to make it go away. Mm. And that'll be my testimony. It'll bring God glory because it'll reveal him to be the, the healer. It might bring me a little bit of glory too because people <laughs> will see that I had the faith to believe God, you know. And so I thought that was the program, you know. And, 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 and uh, I remember stepping out again and again and stepping up to the mic and then s stuttering horribly and thinking, oh man, I'm just not believing hard enough. I just have to believe harder, you know, and, and I felt like it was all up to me. And that was, uh, that was, um, that caused a lot of problems in my life, you know, mm -hmm. and, 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 and bred resentment and shame and confusion, you know. And I remember, um, I remember a moment well, I was playing a sh show at my local c c c c coffee shop, and I stuttered horribly, and I got off the stage, and I didn't want to talk to anybody because mm -hmm. I was just, I felt embarrassed, you know, and I'm putting away my gear, and there's a line of people f forming who want to speak with me after the show, and I'm talking with them, and I remember having a hard time looking them in the eye, and mm -hmm. my face felt hot, you know, I was just embarrassed, and but one after the other, I heard them say, um, thank you for what you did this evening because it reminds me that I'm not defined by my weakness mm. either, you know. And this other guy who said, thanks for what you did, you know, I believe the Lord's been c c calling me to do something too and I've been making excuses for why I think I'm the wrong person for the job, you know. And you're kind of a disaster and if you can do your thing, <laughs> surely I can do my thing too, you know. Um, and I remember going home that night and, and, and thinking, oh, maybe it's not that you were going to heal me of my speech impediment, but maybe somehow you were going to bring healing to others through it, you mm -hmm. know. 
and uh, and that was where I, I I decided to, or I began to learn how to embrace my weakness and my brokenness and 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 uh, allow the Lord to use it. You know, um, so I guess this is a song that would you know have a lot to do with that. Thanks for asking me to, um, to, to, to play a song. Yeah. I had no idea. You, you were going to do that, but I just happened to have a guitar <laughs> right here. Wow, that's amazing. Out of its case, it's weird. Yeah. It's just laying right there. Is it, it's like already tuned it's and everything. It's tuned and everything, wow. yeah. So well, very, <laughs> very fortuitous. Uh, of all of my songs, this is the one that I'm uh, the proudest of and would want to be, uh, be known for. So it's called The Wound is Where the Light Gets In. Mm -hmm. 